This is the Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Yes, that's Hi. me. You're you not doing? over it yet? Never. 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 Never, you, ever. You don't like it. Ah. I'm just waiting for you to be over it. Okay. Maybe we'll come up with something different. Though. I don't know. Maybe. How are you? I'm okay. So I guess it's good news this morning as Duduke has arrived. Okay. Adekunle Gold and Simi welcomes baby girl. The announcement was made by Adekunle Gold via his um, newsletter. So yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. The write up was beautiful. Eh, I'm so happy for them. Very happy for them. How are you fake tearing up? <laughs> <laughs> Understand. I mean, I trust they, they stand as, like I mentioned on the table, a lot of the times, like progressive, you know, the progressive voice, one of the progressive voices we have. So it would be very interesting to see how they put that into play as being a parent because it's very easy to talk. Um, but it's now time to put that into action as Adijari is now here. I love that name, by the way. That's the name I gave my fiance, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy for. For them, I like that he's involved, like he mentioned, how he's involved in the cleaning and in changing the diapers. And it just sounded really, really sweet, like somebody that was very present. And that is not something anyone wants to take for granted, I think. Big shout out to um, the Kosokas, yeah, because, um, and do the care babies finally, uh, I think the social media can get over this mm. news and uh, this baby is even more famous than a lot of celebrities mm -hmm. right now because considering the fact that she did the old dance and all of that so it's really amazing like you said we just like to see um, the work they're gonna put in but I trust Simi and Adekunle go to be wonderful parents there. Mm. They seem like wonderful people from their write-ups most of the mm -hmm. time, but like you said, it's easy to talk, but let's see. But I just wish them the best of luck. They don't necessarily have to be perfect. They should just do their very best to mm. be the best they can be for Adi Jari. AJ baby has a baby. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, I was saying that, like, I'd like to see how that plays yeah. out in the songs now. Yeah. Like, how I'm sure they'll sing about, about her. They should sing Definitely. about her. Are you her. sure they've not started singing already? Abby. This is like, I think this is one week mm. already. <clears throat> it was mm, she. Kids. No, that's it. That's it. I saw me. 530. 530. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so let's move on. Um, this is another very interesting list. America's Billboard chart reduces a list of most streamed Nigerian musicians for 2020. Bonner Boy tops the list with 435 um, million streams, followed by the video with 285 million, while Whiskey follows that with 167 million. That's quite interesting. But then number four now gives you Techno Mouse and um, at 159 million. Mr. Easy, 139. Flavor comes there. Then you have Sinatch with 120. And Yemi Alade comes right after that with 109. And surprisingly, we have Joe Boy at 106 and number nine. So um, this list is, it's just, um, I don't mm -hmm. know. Table shaking. Table shaking. It's still the giants of Africa, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, yes, no, Nigeria. Look, look at the margin. Nigeria bro. fam, calm down. Look at the margin. That was hectic. Yeah. Double. Even, okay, mm -hmm. then let's go down to Whiskey. Even David Osteen doubles And that this is globally. Whiskey. I'm wondering David what exactly doubles whiskey. is going on. Because this period has expected for David O to uh, double it's Whiskey. It's not a period How is it expected? No, not just this period. Like, Whiskey that has been, like we, we said the last time, Whiskey that has been laid back. Even this type of music has been laid back. You get, and David O has been giving it all to us back to back. If it was a competition thing right now, David O is winning. Let's be honest. If well, not really. I thought, to be honest with you, I thought the video. This for me was the biggest insult was to the video on Tiwa Savage. I felt like Tiwa Savage was not on the. That's list. what I'm saying. That like, insult is loud. Like she should have been on the list, and David should have gotten know, a I lot think this more is a global views thing. than that. Most mm. trained Nigeria. artist in from Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it's a global thing. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Tiwa Savage, yeah, she's quite a global artist. She's quite a global artist, but when you're talking about in the diaspora, the that people always rate global is diaspora. Considering that fact that you put always rate who, Tiwa who? Savage, so they, they, Yemi no, we know that uh, the uh, God of Yemi Alade, I Yemi Alade we know Yemi Alade is bigger. No, we always knew Yemi Alade was bigger than Tiwa Savage. We need to rewind. Do we have a rewind button? Especially when it comes 
to Africa. She's oh, now it's Africa. No, no, no. Are you think global? <laughs> now it's diaspora. No, you have, you have like seven now. mouths on your so face. So if we're talking about global list, that is we're putting together, um, we're putting together uh -huh. the African side as well, the African continent. So if we're talking about African streams alone, Yemi Alade would double a Tiwa Savage. What, 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 what would Yemi Alade streams? not double a Tiwa Savage on? What? Maybe if we're looking for uh, um, streams from America. Maybe we're looking for those that are trying to be sexy on TV. Yeah. Maybe if you are oh, trying to look for streams from America, according you know, to that this, level, even that is BS. It, according to this, she's getting more streams globally. Period. For her to get that many millions, and then Yemi Alade is not. I mean, Tiwa Savage is not even on the list. Yeah, I'm sure they didn't want to embarrass her, like with the figures actually. that were there. Like, well, who's I, I, actually? I actually want to shout it's out. Allowed, to it's allowed. It's allowed. Someone like Flavor. Yeah. Someone like Mr. Easy, and someone like Tech uh, Boy. Techno. Joe Boy, Boy. Joe Boy is a separate shout out. This Joe shout out Boy. I'm giving first is for not creating drama or having drama around your career and your life, but you are still winning. Mm. I mean, there's this notion that you have to do some form of showbiz, controversy before you can get the numbers high and be in the minds of people for them to stream your song. So whatever marketing strategy their team is on, they're just doing an amazing job. And then Joe Boy. Hmm. <sighs> what happened to Fireboy? I would have expected a fireball. Me too. On that list first. Me too. So, but, then but you see, that's like the thing with uh, Tiwa Savage and Yemi Alade, mm. the fireboy, Joe me. Boy thing. Now let me. No, he's not. Let me, let me, let me explain why I said that. Now, Joe Boy has more commercial songs, if I want to put it that way, in the sense that even people in America, in London, wherever they want to listen to a Joe before, because Fireboy has that. Indigenous. Has no, he has, he has commercial indigenous. songs, but he has more he has indigenous Oba, commercial. That's it. King, no, that's when it. when I say indigenous, like, it speaks a lot of Yoruba. That's what I'm saying. It's just Oba. I've heard the album, like, over and over and over but and he has over. That, he has that he does not have anything, ethnic you ethnic vibe. Which he ethnic? has... I don't know how to explain it, but there's something you to Fireboy's music that is You want to use Indigenous for Olami Day, and you want to use Indigenous wait, for, for Fireboy. Okay, maybe Indigenous Ow. is not the right it's word. It's not. But there's something about Fireboy's vibe that says a lot of, um, I mean, you're about demon kind of thing. <laughs> Honestly, if you ask me. If if I, what you, are you even talking about? What are you talking about? What? What are you? Let, let, he has, let, he let, let's retrace our a steps. Yoruba, he has a Yoruba sound. He has a Yoruba sound, if you ask me. Fireboy has a Yoruba sound, yes. Shout out to everybody that made the list. Um, it's shout quite, out to people who did not think. Yeah, shout out to people. It doesn't mean you're not working hard. You're working hard. We're just saying you should put some respect on Yemi Aladis. Olamidenko. Why? Olamide is never really on this the table. The grassroots is streaming him, fam. Don't worry. <laughs> Olamide is not even concerned about this. He should. Yeah, he, no, he should, he, he's not. He's not. He told you he's not. Let's focus. But still, it, uh, but I Sinatch think there's people on that list that are not guys. concerned and they're still Sinatch on the list. Leave that attitude. Yes, Sinatch, Sinatch. Sinatch and Sinatch is on the list because of one song. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> they have like <laughs> 10 albums. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so mean? Even Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy, Mr. Easy, Mr. Easy for me is someone that I really underestimate. I don't vibe. Yeah, He's not, I'm not a fan. I don't listen to his music. Like, except YouTube. Because literally. you know this is two wins for him. For yeah. boy to be there and he is on the, the list. To be it's, there. Two, it's double win for his Like, he's level. doing so something yeah, right he's, he's working hard shout ah. out to mr easy shout out to you guys fam okay mm. congratulations to them all we'll keep watching we'll keep okay, waiting mr. Easy and, his artist on and one day list. you wow. will give the that's crown the way it is fitted on mm -hmm. Yemenadi's head that's all i'm saying but moving on <sighs> pastor chris islam's pastors supporting guidelines for reopening churches what's happening is it that the savings is red is it that you know, don't they have a WhatsApp group? Can't he just go to the group to blast them and stop doing this thing on live like, television? Uh, like, I'm his, tired, really. He's bored, he doesn't have purpose. He sounds desperate to me. Um, and you are boldly taking. I, I've watched this man many times. I remember they used to give us Rhapsody of Reality, whatever. And I rem I don't really, I wouldn't really describe him as somebody who was like a fanatic, like he was crazy. Yeah, like he wasn't, no, he wasn't, he wasn't crazy. He wasn't like saying. Which was why a lot of youths could relate, relate with, with him. him. He was dominant in my, in my uni in, in South Africa for sure. So I'm surprised with this logic when he kept saying like, that, like almost that logic that, you know, I cannot be sick. When I cannot harm me, I'm the Holy, I'm, I have the Holy Spirit. That type of like extreme type of notion that's what i'm getting from him with covid 19 and i know that he's educated on the virus i know he knows that it's contagious like if somebody sure had 
I'm sure he knows. That's why. That's why I'm saying that there's something. There's there's something he's going through mm. that is making that clouded. Because I'm sure if somebody had a polo or chicken pox or something really simple, he won't have this energy. He will have said, "Oh, do you want to take a break or do you want to go home and like you know just relax? Don't come into the congregation." We're talking about COVID nineteen. Like, so maybe there is a prophecy that he has that we don't know yet. Oh, maybe we should take it for. Mm. That is where you are going to now. What else do you want me to say? Is there something? Is it old age? It's not that old yet. Now, I so. think he's really bored. Maybe, you know, if it's not, you're not a pastor and you're not getting all that attention and that, whatever, then maybe, you know, what's life to you or something? Or maybe it's the money. I don't know what it is. But it's definitely not the people because him um, lashing other pastors who are putting the other people first shows that he's there's something up with this man and i, I know that he is not uh, ignorant that's why i've not used that word because in the part in the part where he talks about the vaccine he made a lot of sense to that that's why i know he did his research when he talks about the virus and how it's still very new so how do you have a vaccine which is a big question to ask um and anyone who understands what vaccines are, it takes many years maybe to perfect one so you're pretty much going to be poisoning the app uh, you're going to be playing with probabilities here and so that was like good logic so i know that he's thinking there's just something that is clouding the judgment of people can't gather in your church because the possibilities of someone having vir the virus and spreading it is real. Like, it's so simple. Mm. Well, um, like you said, maybe he has a prophecy that we don't know about. Probably. And um, secondly, he asked a question. He said, uh, did any of this things by, that is going by the guidelines, that did any of this happen during Jesus' time? And in my head, I'm like, did coronavirus happen during Jesus' time? Do you understand? So we need to know that this is a new world. This is something fresh. We've never seen it before. We've um, The last pandemic we saw was about 100 years ago. And almost the same thing happened. Schools were closed. Churches mm -hmm. were closed. All of that happened as well. So we need to know that... As long as this keeps growing, as long as it keeps happening, things will keep changing. So mm. we need to start getting used to the change and not comparing the past to this new day. Mm. So I think you should just figure that out. Yeah. I'm actually tired <clears throat> of having this conversation when Pastor Chris is in the media because mm. I'm torn between touching not my anointed and telling him the way it is. Oh, but gosh. I think you two have said it the way it is. And I don't know, like you said, he's he's... He is a knowledgeable man. You can't take that away from him. So whatever it is that is making him fight it is hard. Maybe it is a prophecy. I don't know what. Oh, Maybe he should let us know what it is so that we can key in and pray. Well, he, to be honest, if you're, if you're not going to make things that complicated, he's saying what it is. He's saying that we don't trust God enough. Oh. And that, for me, is ridiculous. That's it. There's a thin line between faith and madness, and he wants us to cross that part with yeah. him. I don't know. All right. Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people that got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Even Nelson reacts after being called a gold digger on the radio show. Um, she shared the apology from the radio station, then wants that any media house or platform that will post something negative about her will be dealt with and won't have the chance to apologize. Mm. Very confused. Why are you confused? Uh, it's a thin line between freedom of speech and opinion, and that um, if um, we've had this conversation before. Mm -hmm. And we were saying something that the word was vague. Uh, do you remember? We're saying uh, I can't remember the top the topic now. We're saying that the word was vague, and it's based on how emotional distress somebody sued someone for, 
and said it was emotional distance and we kept wondering like why and then we said but we we're talking interpret. about the social media bill and the interpretations that yes, can come with yes. it yeah um this is one of them because for some of the, i that work in the media i have to be given the space to give opinions yes you don't have to bash people but when you call someone a gold digger yes, there's a meaning to go digging yeah. and you have to have proof of and the gold digging yeah. they also said she sleeps around with men both in ghana and nigeria mm. for financial yeah but this games. is not something that we've heard yeah. today yesterday or like but you know it depends on the way you put it if you say i have been hearing yeah. or they have said yeah. or this is in the it's news rumored. but yeah. when you come out to say she do you is, know that even yeah. nelson sleep, that's like you yeah. talking out of fact okay, fair and, enough, yeah. fair mm -hmm. enough. I, I see that because i mean i can Re, I can repeat an opinion. Like mm. I can say, oh, I've heard that yeah. you sleep, like this lady sleeps around. Or I heard that this person or like, you know, but I thought maybe that's what she was trying to go to because. But do you think you would say that on TV? Yeah. Uh, yes, if I, I heard it, I would say I heard I've it. I've said it before. Yeah. I even we skip yeah, thing. I said it. I heard that he's difficult to work with. Do you remember? Like that was a, not a good thing about his character. But I said what I said. And it's not like my personal opinion because I haven't met him before. But it was something that I've heard evidently. Because the problem with that is that I've heard that from a lot of places. So if you're going to come from me, you're going to come from every other place, every other person that said that. Or is it the bigger platform you have that you start oh, yeah, to care? There's something, they, they, that comes into play as well. Because mm -hmm. if you have a big platform and then you reaffirm what mm. the rumors and gossips have said, mm. then it, 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 yours can it, now it, amount yeah. to right. tarnishing the image. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's why I asked, like, would you say that on TV? Because whichever way you want to look at this, whether it's your personal opinion, whether it's what you've heard, whatever it is, I don't think you should say such stuff about people, especially... Um, we really need a rewind button because you are shocking me. There's so many things that we've said on this table about people that we find either like... A rape apologist, or like, uh, let's not go for a radical conversation about talking back and what's bought exactly. <laughs> like, we've talked about a lot of things, so I'm very surprised as to where you're going with this. I'm just telling you that it's wrong to defame people. I don't think in, in any of those convers conversations did I happen to defame anybody. <laughs> I don't think I did. Okay, as long as I didn't do it, I don't think it should <sighs> be. Break time, break time. We'll go to YouTube. No, I don't, think, I don't think I've ever defamed anybody. And if I've defamed anybody, probably I'm saying it from a place of facts that if you come for me, okay. I'll be able Oh, so to... there is a difference when it's when there's facts. No, no of course, if of you course. can prove if it, I can prove and then it. they come to you to slam you, tell them, babe, this is the evidence. You did this and you did that yeah. and you did this. It's yeah, not on so, guard defamation because you so know it happened. If I've, if I've okay. ever defamed anybody, then it's because I'm doing it from a place of fact. That is, I know if you come for me, I'll come back for you. You, know you don't me? defame like, people from a place of Don't mind defame. You just, you spoke the facts. You did not defame. What? <laughs> <laughs> If the person but sees anyway, it as defamatory, let's, let's not if the person sees it as defamatory, then I know opinions. I'll be able to defend it. Because so, if that's how it works, somebody like Wendy Williams will probably be settling cases every like, day, right? Uh, but I get where she's coming from. There, there are things. Okay, do you know let's why remember the case of, of Chidima, time, um, Chidima and Kiss Daniel. Mm. So remember when the whole, is it a few song, the challenge, mm. and then someone from a radio station was saying that the song was about um, Chidima, mm. and then they sent a letter threatening mm. to sue or an apology and all that. I mean, you can understand that because you are directly saying that this character that is being portrayed in this song mm. is um, is about this person without proof. Mm. Even the person that owns the song have not come out to tell you this song is about mm. Chidima. You did not see it anywhere, but because you heard a rumor and then you put it out as a fact. Mm. So I think it, it, it's, it's so the line that how... the line that the line that gets crossed is when you bring out a rumor as a fact, yes. not when you repeat a rumor. Yeah, it, it's basically about how you put it. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Really? To defame somebody? <sighs> to say like, oh, I heard that this person does this and this and that. It's not the same as saying, I know that this person does this and that. If I, I'm waiting for you, don't worry. I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for Enjoy okay, let's move on. But basically, if your lesson has warned everybody, don't say what you don't know about her, else you will not be apologizing. So you will have and I the think opportunity this be to, to apologize. Every OAP as well. Like you just can't entertain certain things. Like you should know where to, where to draw the line most times. Like even if but you what about guessed, gossip? Well, uh, thankfully, this happens. This doesn't apply to us because we barely do go We don't do gossip. We do hard news and whatnot. But what about a like someone like Wendy Williams that's built on gossip? 
When the I Williams don't advise is guilt her. and gossip, but most of the time, when the Williams says what she knows, they know she doesn't. Yes, yeah, she does. No, she doesn't because people she's, come, she's, people she's block an her in the and, bla and blackmail her. When, no, and no, no, come on. Attack when, her. Wendy, Wendy is an OG in the industry for her not. But so, for example, if there's something on Insta blog about somebody, and I come here and I tell people that, ah, according to what I saw on Insta blog oh, and the comment That's section, this is what, what they said. Is it just now? Not I was talking to one of my friends yesterday, and she told me that so so person did this. Now that's you saying that is like you coming to isn't that how you know your what facts? they told you isn't okay. that how you know i think your we facts? should move on from this <laughs> because is this we are because trying you say to... that you say things out of facts so, were you there when the thing was happening or did you hear from someone who heard from someone who heard from okay someone? i'm not saying that's what i would say it okay okay I do not encourage indecent dressing, but no matter how indecently dressed she is, guys, it's not an invitation for rape. If you both agreed on pay as you go, you pay. She no one give you, get your money back um, through non-violent means. Do not touch her. There is no excuse for rape. And this is coming from actor um, and politician, Yuli Duce. Um, I think we're beginning to sound like a broken record on this issue, but mm. we cannot stop because apparently, like very, very evidently, clearly, so mm. many people still don't understand the idea of... Um, and I'm wondering why the cases are growing, like why are they increasing? They're like, not increasing, they're just they're being, resurfacing. Not just resurfacing, people are now talking about it, people are no, giving it more attention. No, haven't you realized that there are more rape cases they are not more rape past, cases, fair. Um, since like last week? No, there's always been a the high attention number of just rape, rape cases. Rape I don't cases, even think no. that it's enough. There's still a lot of people are not being that are not talking. They're, they can't handle the stigma. For them, it's more than a social media hype. There is quite a number of people that will refuse to say anything. Um, even my the injury that I was associated with, with Women's Consortium of Nigeria, we've gotten more calls from people dealing with rape of over six years, when they were 13, when they were 14, when they were 20, last week. Like, the, the, don't get carried away and see this as like a trend. It is a fact and a reality. Someone has gotten raped right now, and it's about to see another person going to get raped. People get raped on a daily basis in Nigeria, from children to wives to them, boyfriend, partners in relationships, to strangers walking, to people in the, to prostitute, like, the number is to child is, marriage rape all of them <laughs> so um it's not i don't i i because i'm seeing that a lot that people are getting tired and i'm getting tired and at first i understood that we're getting tired but i'm not like wait first of all calm down <laughs> because if you're so tired what about the people who live like this yeah. every day i said, Which oh, is i'm tired I said, of the hate i'm tired of this is somebody's like life every up. day so mm, let's yeah we're tired but like mm, Calm down. It's so, not... which is why our time is almost up, but I think we should just use this opportunity to reiterate what you Lady Duchi has said. A lady not dressing decently, according to you, because I think this decent dressing now is based on individual and it's relative now. So, whether she's decent or not decent, based on your Bible standard or your moral compass, whatever, it doesn't give you the right to touch her or even to comment on her body anyway. It's as simple as that. So um, there's really no excuse for rape. I don't know how uh, how else to put that for people mm. to get it. And I hope that this conversation that has been ongoing regarding consent will continue so that a lot of people will understand it more. Because I, I've realized that the word is how many <laughs> how many letters, but it is Very so deep. complicated yeah. and deep. that, And also so many people do not understand it. So instead of always coming from a point of bashing and God punish you and blah, blah. Those who understand it should please use their platform to explain better to people. What Even if you have a, you have to use the cop, the traffic light like you did, whatever you can use to explain it, break it down to the barest minimum for the layman to understand. Please do it. Use your platforms and do it. I think that's it for me. And um, this reminds me of what happened between Kiki Modi and another journalist over the weekend where the guy was talking about a lady that was, um, she was wearing bikinis and stuff and it was like look at the way you're dressed you're the reason for violence against women mm. now men with such a mindset should be bashed should be yeah. dragged they should be educated mm. or not even After be being dragged no they shouldn't, even be, dragged. they shouldn't even be dragged i think they should be educated because most of the time most of them are talking from a place of ignorance, ignorance. so okay. i think yeah they should be educated yeah. and such stuff yeah all right unfortunately that's how we wrap up this episode thank you for watching and do send your opinions via whatsapp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine or tweet at us at plus tv africa my thank you as always good to michael Ankers, if you my and if you okay and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Pulse TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <clears throat>